Sudden spike in violence has Portland's police chief on alert this noon. Officers with the gang task force are working overtime after two shootings they're calling brazen. Yesterday afternoon, someone opened fire near a swimming pool in North Portland. Hours later, another shooting, this time in southeast Portland. Gwen Local 6 reporter Brent Weisberg joins us live from downtown. Brent, police say that they're noticing a dangerous trend. Amy, good afternoon. Police say they are noticing these gang members shooting back at each other, exchanging gunfire at random, and these bullets are hitting homes and buildings. As a father, David Yu and his daughter Ava are at Peninsula Park in North Portland one day after a gang shooting sent fear through this normally quiet North Portland neighborhood. Nobody wants the shooting at all, but if it does occur, the worst thing that can happen is to have a stray bullet hit some innocent bystander or, or a child. It's an uneasy feeling, but he refuses to let gang violence dictate where he and Ava spend their time. Yesterday, shooting police say was a feud between gang members. These recent shootings, uh, a number of them, have involved people shooting at one another, uh, where in the past someone would shoot and folks would run away. Now. More recently, we've seen people shooting at each other. Portland's police chief, Mike Reese, was working with the gang officers when the shooting call came in. Some of the kids were very hysterical, crying in corners, uh, was very, um, not really sure how to respond to the tra traumatic experience. Tisha Stegler's son attends summer camp at the community center. She says the shooting happened as the kids were eating their snacks. It's a blessing that that wall is very thick. Today, she says many of the kids actually stayed home. Their parents afraid of a possible retaliation shooting, something police say they're also worried about. In the wake of a shooting like yesterday's, our efforts are very focused on suppression. Uh, keeping our eyes open today for retaliation and over the weekend. Police have doubled their efforts since mid-June to prevent gang violence. So far, they say their work is paying off. Aside from a string of violence on July 4th and yesterday, overall, they say gang violence is down this summer, which is good news for parents like David Yu, who wants to spend more time with his daughter. I'll just, you know, I'll just be more aware, you know, and, and you know, I, t I tell her when she sees suspicious activity to steer clear and walk across the street, go around it, don't go anywhere near it. Amy, Portland police say they have made no arrests in any of these recent shootings. Again, there are gang detectives working overtime trying to solve them. If you happen to have any information, you're urged to call Portland police. Reporting for you live in downtown this afternoon, I'm Brent Weisberg, Coin Local 6.